this is not the ending that I wanted for this series, but it's the ending that this series gets. So as you know, I set out from the onset to get 8 Lima November into the air so that I could take it and fly to the fly-in or the homecoming in Mexico, Missouri in September. The plane is good to go. The plane can make it, there's no problem. Everything on the plane is working amazingly, but weather, on the other hand, decided to conspire against me so that I won't be able to fly 8 Lima November to the fly-in in Mexico, Missouri. What's happened is, is that I have a time frame where I need to be back for my normal day job and the weather right after and during the fly-in from this point of view, looking out to it, doesn't look like it'll allow me to do that. So because of that, I've made the decision that I'm still gonna go to the fly-in, but I'm gonna be taking American Airlines. Really wish I was taking my own plane, but again, it's better to be on the ground wishing you were in the air than in the air wishing that you were on the ground. So executive decision made, 8 Lima November is going to stay here. I'm going to go to the fly in in Mexico, Missouri, hitting up tomorrow actually, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to fly the plane. So let's jump in and I think we're going to do a quick cross country today just to test out 8 Lima November, make sure that everything's working the way I believe it is, which again, I've done a couple test flights and everything is working perfectly, but now I want to dive deep into the systems again because it's been a while since I've done any type of automate, automated flying. So let's jump in the air in 8 Lima November and do a little cross country. Now we're just going to wait for this to warm up and then we'll be able to start the run up process. So let's go. Yep, I got traffic. the traffic flying around me right now. So I'll just going through this, I've already done the pre-flight, so startup checklist has been complete. We had fuel proper take mixture of bridge. Masters on, avionics are on, ignition set to B, uh, throttle three times to prime, engage starter set to 1000 RPM. All of that is done. So from there, we have our pre-taxi checklist, which also was completed. So we have the canopy is secured and last weather information is noted. Avionics have been set, build of, basically we set the field elevation, ensure compass is proper, functioning properly, which it is. Check if is to back of indications, we have those cross-checked and we have set the radio to 1230 and 12255, which are the two frequencies we'll need. All right, so run-up checklist, which we will start here as soon as we get the engine over 110 degrees. When that happens, we'll come back to you guys. All right, Summerton traffic experimental, 8 Lima November, back taxi runway 17 to the run-up, Summerton. We've got perfect the time I get there, everything should be good and warm. Which is great on the GRT thing, I can actually just watch it a lot easier, see everything's in the red, see everything's in the green. Go to the engine page, the only thing I'm waiting on is just for that to get up into the uh, green. For oil temp, THTs, the AGTs are both looking good. Summer and traffic experimental, 918 Lima November, clear runway 017, summer two. All right, let's start the run up. So we need to run the engine up to 2000 RPM. That's 2000. Let it stabilize. Now we're gonna check carb heat. So pull this, I should see a decrease in air fuel ratio and a decrease in RPM. Both are noted. Well, uh, return number to traffic pull out the whole speed back to the hangar. Okay, we got a return. Mission A to B should be no change. No change is noted. Back to ignition A. back to idle. All right, controls are free and correct. So double checking here. All right, engine run up over 110. We have accomplished that oil pressure over, got to be below 60 PSI, which it was the entire run up. Fuel pressure is above one PSI, which it was. CHDs are above 200, which they are. 
Mission A to B was check monitor fuel for pressure, no change, less 25 RPM at the RPM swap. None of that was noted. RV check after, and we saw the decrease in AFR and the decrease in RPM. Return to idle. Mission is set to A, which is correct. Trim is set for takeoff, which it is. Controls are free, correct. Canopy is latched and secured. Radio and altimeter set flight plan is loaded. Everything is cur is ready for takeoff. Before takeoff, we climb straight ahead. Head over to PS1 for navigation. Radio call. Traffic. Traffic. That's a ghost plane. Summer so traffic experimental 918 Lima November taking off runway 17. Going to be departing the area to the north. Summer Okay, get the tailwheel straightened out here. Now is. Line up on 17. We will take off. RPM is above the spectrum. Traffic. Looks good. You have a project experimental later one eight Lima November with request. Experimental nine one eight Lima no November, uh, go ahead. Yeah, just part of Summerton uh, at 1,200, climbing uh, 3,500, looking for a flight following to Colexio. 8 Lima November, Squawk 0421. 0421, 8 Lima November. 8 Lima November, radar contact 10 miles south of Lima, 1,600. Position checked, 8 Lima November. This is always a fun uh, airport to land at because you're only a couple hundred yards from Mexico. It is literally an on-the-border runway. It can't be any more on the border. With the with the what's separating this airport from Mexico is literally just an outlet mall. This is the width of an outlet mall. Flexico traffic experimental eight Lima November turning final runway eight touch and go Flexico. Oh, such a good landing here for me. And we are airborne. Our feet off. Good climb out. So traffic experimental, all evening member left crosswind departure uh, from the area. Let's go. Traffic experiment elite limit number two mile final runway one seven full stop.
All right, guys, so like I explained earlier, not flying this to the Zenith fly-in, mainly because of weather, which sucks because I really, really, really wanted to get it there, and I pushed so, so hard to get this plane done so that I could do that, but alas, I'd rather be on the ground wishing I was in the air than in the air wishing I was on the ground. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to get some flying in this weekend. So as you saw, I just flew out to Calexico and back, and on Monday, I need to go pick up my son in Phoenix, and I'm either going to take this or a new plane that you guys are going to see on the channel here shortly. So I'll keep that until the next video, but not an experimental aircraft, so I am moving a little bit into the certified world. Not as my own aircraft, but as one that I've uh, bought as a partnership with another friend of mine. But with all that being said, I have to thank the sponsor of this video, which is GRT Avionics. GRT is an American-based company building highly capable avionics systems for guys like me and you that are flying on a budget but want all of the capability that is in all of these advanced cockpits. So if you guys are building a aircraft, either light sport, doesn't matter, really consider GRT Avionics for all of your avionics needs. And with that, this is me, Larry Nelson, telling you guys for planes like this or projects in your garage, get building, get flying, and I'll see you guys in the air next time.